Hello, it is 11.56 a.m. and I decided why not bring the review held back nine months after the latest episode. I know, it's been a while. Let's get into this. That's right, I'm doing the one thing no one ever expects from me. Doing a lovey dovey date movie I watched with a random friend in the middle of the morning when I didn't sleep because I couldn't sleep. Also, I watched Left Half Alone, which was really weird. Your Name is an interesting movie focusing on body switching and time travel. Well, kind of time travel. It's confusing to say the least, but at its heart it is romantic comedy about people who don't even know each other and never communicate with one another. Yes, these characters throughout the entire story until near the end never once actually communicate with one another. They communicate by leaving notes to each other on the phone. Which I think is pretty interesting, actually. It's it's something that, from my knowledge, has never been done. It's... It's very weird, to say the least, to have these characters grow towards one another, despite never having actually communicate or anything. The relationship between the two is, dare I say, realistic, and actually one of my favorite relationships in, well, anime. And then again, I don't watch that much anime, so, meh. But, yeah, no, um, the overview is interesting to say the least. I'm not going to spoil this one. All I... Like, there's, there's going to be an R section where I describe, like, what, what this movie is at, at its core. But, yeah, no, just... All you need to know is it's a time travel body switching movie. Your Name is a movie I would suggest if you're going out on a date, staying in for a date, I wouldn't really suggest it if you watch it with a friend or if you watch it alone. The movie can be entertaining, the movie can be interesting, but it's more suited for somebody you care about. Me personally, I watched it with a friend. I enjoyed it, but then again, I just enjoy watching anime of people, as proven by my kind of biased opinions when I watch something with somebody compared to when I watch it alone. Then again, there's also the fact that this might actually just not be the movie for you. I liked it, but then again, despite me being, well, me, the psychopath, I really like lovey-dovey shit. Which, yeah, you'll never see it coming. Anyway, I should probably get on rating this. I'm trying to make this a quickie and not a full episode. Hey you there, you're probably wondering, there's a lot of anime out there, why should I watch this one, why should I watch that one? Well, I'll tell you, I give your name a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's a good anime, it's a really good anime, but it's not really the best if you're not in a relationship. If you're in a relationship, I give it a 4 star. But yeah, no. Out of all, get the fuck out. No! I... I 
Hello, Christian from the future here, talking to you from the sanctity of my gas mask. I'm sorry about the quality of the review of the original upload. I unfortunately fucked up my last time, and thankfully it got a copyright strike, so I took it down, I re-edited it, and here we go. And yes, I'm actually wearing my gas mask for this, because why not? This is kind of just a fun little thing I get to do later on, because I'm an idiot, and gas masks are cool, so yeah, no, uh, just apologizing, so, out of luck.